<laughs> yep, my house was a disaster, but now it's all Christmassy. So happy. I love it. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. I'm not like the best direct director, <laughs> decorator in the world, but I try. <laughs> I try to make it look decent and this year we don't have like a big budget for new Christmas things <laughs> Christmas decorations so we went and I think we spent like 30 bucks on a couple little things for new and I'm excited we got a couple new things this is probably the biggest, this is the biggest place we've lived since we've been married. So, I mean, it's not huge, but it is a very decent size. And I love it. It's the perfect size, I think. And so we just, you know, we don't have quite enough to fill the space in decoration-wise. Anyways, here I am cleaning before I decorate. I cleaned all one day and then I decorated a different day. And that's just how it went. I didn't have enough time to decorate and clean in one day. You can tell a little later in the video it's getting a little darker, but also this boogie saline mist, the bomb. It's pressurized, so you like spray it, see how much it comes out, and then you can be like, okay, I need to put a little my baby's nose. It it's supposed to be also, it moistens everything in there. Oh, it's the best. Bria has always, every single day of her life, I have to suck her boogers. She just has allergies, probably. I don't know. I have allergies. Pep has allergies, but Bria's just seemed to be the worst. Every morning she wakes up, she's like, <laughs> in videos when she was little, I'd be recording and you could probably hear her snorting in the background. <laughs> Oh, I had to, uh, anyways, it's a lot, it's getting better, it's, it's more wintry, so I'm assuming it's probably just allergies, summer and fall allergies, anyways, so, I'm vacuuming because I'm moving my furniture, mm-hmm, so, whoops, I pushed that and then I realized, oh, the cord, okay, that's gonna be tight, so, I stopped before it started pulling a lot, and, Anyway, so that boogie mist, mm-hmm, highly recommend, it's pressurized, I just hold it for like one, two, and then I let her breathe for, I don't know, ten seconds, and then I one, two, the next nostril, because it sprays quite a bit, and then she just breathes for a minute, and then I count about thirty, and then I suck her boogers, come right out, it's a miracle. I cannot believe I didn't use it for so long because, oh, anyways, I can't think it's braces enough. I was visiting my mom and my sister had some for her baby and uh, I used it and I bought my own so I quit using hers. <laughs> anyways, so here I am cleaning out my chair. I just moved it. What a wonderful person. I feel so strong for moving all my furniture by myself. I, when we moved into this apartment, I was pregnant with Bria, and uh, I didn't do the heavy lifting of moving the furniture and everything, because, what was I, I was like f almost five months pregnant, I think, and like, that's good, but it's just, you know, just when you're pregnant, unless you always lift heavy furniture, don't do it. <laughs> Don't okay, cute, just randomly do it. Anyways, but I haven't really moved the furniture by myself for a while, other than like vacuuming behind the couch. <laughs> but I scooted that chair and it looks beautiful. The tree's going right there. <laughs> um, Peppa's saying cheese. Her little cheese time. <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, I'm sorry, it was so bad. Also, I have laundry drying. I washed Pep's bedding, an hour bedding. I think Pep had gotten sick or something. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I just washed, no, I think I just washed her bedding because I thought it was time. <laughs> and so it was draped on the chairs and 
our blanket, you can see the jean one, is draped across the, uh, what are those called? Stools? The bar stools? And I washed that first before anything else, and it, it was pretty much dry by the night, but it takes forever. It took forever. Like, I still, when we were going to bed, I was like, we'll use our different blanket because... I wanted to 100% make sure that it was dry, and then I was like, I guess it's like laying flat when you're sleeping on it, plus our body heat <laughs> would um, make it dry faster. <laughs> no. And my husband was like, can we use a different blanket? Because surprisingly, even though it's a heavy blanket, it is not like really warm. So I started getting a little chilly, because it's winter now. And my husband was like, you want to use a different blanket? So I switched it up. I moved, we switched it up, went back to our really warm blanket. No, it's not down or anything. It's cotton, I think. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's nice. So someone gave it to us for our wedding, so. Oh, this stove was nasty. You guys, I just realized I am the messiest cooker ever. Cooker and baker. But, like. If you are so worried about making a mess, you're never going to cook or bake. So just go ahead and make the mess. You will clean it up eventually. <laughs> that, I, so that was actually from like four days worth of cooking. I mean, that's still quite a bit. It's messy. Okay, look at Pep here. <laughs> She's folding that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I about <coughs> cried when I noticed what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> So, there's a snort for you. Okay, she's happy. <laughs> um, so, oh my gosh, you guys, we ran out of dishwasher detergent and I loaded it. Then I realized, and I was like, what can you use? I looked it up, baking soda apparently, but I had like a teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon. And everybody, I don't know how much they put, but probably more than a teaspoon. I rewashed my glasses because they were all foggy. And then for like the rest of a couple days, I kept rinsing things when I took it out to use it. Look at my poor broken nails. <laughs> Peeling stickers off of, what's that called? The fridge. Pain in the rear. Back to the stove. So I had wiped the big crumbs, sprayed it, and let it sit because it was a bit much. Oh yeah, I was, I know, I got distracted. I was telling you, that was like four days worth of food on my stove because, maybe five, because I hurt my foot. I don't know exactly what I did, but I woke up and it was hurt and walking hurt so bad. Um, but the only thing I can think of is in the middle of the night, Bria just woke up screaming and like she must have had a nightmare or something cause I don't know and so I rocked her and bounced her but she wasn't happy until I meandered about the house <laughs> so I went into the living room and I forgot what a disaster zone it was and that there was a couch pillow on the ground and I tripped on it and I about died <laughs> just kidding I didn't die but oh. I caught myself, but that must have been it because otherwise, like what I do in my sleep, kick the bed. <laughs> Ugh. So I had a hurt foot, so I didn't do much cleaning. Tony did some. Isn't there like a song, maybe Dolly Parton, that's like working nine to five, trying to make a living, do 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 getting by, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like with dishes, it's just like that Dolly Parton song, maybe even more, because you have to 
work on dishes from 9 to 5 or 9 beyond 5 whenever you wake up and eat breakfast and you have to do those dishes and lunch and dinner ugh Ugh. <laughs> They're done. Oh, wow. It's like a dream. <laughs> Until I then ate more food <laughs> and fed my family, etc., etc. Hmm. Starting at nine in the morning. Just kidding. I don't get up that early. <laughs> Oh, here we go. There's the last of the fall before we begin the decoration of the Christmas stuff. <laughs> Isn't that kind of eerie? Look at our picture and the mantle. Not eerie. I don't know what the right word is. Crazy. They kind of have the exact same color scheme. Um, we did not make this mantle. This is a rental. Someone else created this beautiful mantle. We did have the picture. It was a wedding gift from my aunt. And I love it, so it is goes in the middle of the mantle at all times. Because I think it's beautiful. <laughs> no matter the season. I'm, I think she took it when we were married. We were married in April. But it just, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hmm. Look at all the pretty decorations. <laughs> This lamp had some sort of white smudge on it. I have no idea what it was and it took a little fingernail action to get it off. Just then <laughs> I got a wet rag. <laughs> oh, and then I cleaned in the side because the inside is dusty. I don't know. We get, oh, I guess it does have little holes in the top. You can't really see it in the video, but I guess dust goes in there. But it was pretty dusty, so I cleaned it all off. Isn't it beautiful? Also, this is not my last shot. I added way more ornaments to the mantle. I added some red ornaments and some more silver. Also, I put a bowl underneath that lamp because it needed just some height. But also, there's something missing to the left of the lamp on the right side. I just, I don't have anything to put there. And I can't figure out what would go there. So... Maybe another tree, but a little taller than the one we have currently. I don't want it to be the same height as the snowman. So it would have to be, like, taller than the snowman. I don't know. I can't figure it out. For now, it's blank. Probably going to remain blank. <laughs> also, I, like I said, we just got, like, $30 of some more um, decorations. So these were some... They were like three dollars or something at Walmart to I just wanted a little more dimension. I don't know, some more something to reflect the light. And so I kind of tucked them a little bit into the tree. And they're just little silver shiny snowflakes. And I really liked it. Also, don't mind the rag on the ground. Apparently somebody wanted to put the hand towel down there. But yeah, we have like a few personalized ornaments. I had already put the, some on the tree the day before. I have like a set and I had already put them on the tree and then we have some, a couple stars, a little angel and <laughs> Brie is talking. She's going to sleep and she loves talking. <laughs> Break time. Brie needed a nap. Pep needed a cuddle. And different day. Got to get the counter decorated. I put away all of the fall decorations besides like a pump, couple little pumpkins because I'm like, uh, it's still Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'll probably put them away in the next couple days, but here's the counter. Beautiful. Got a few little trees, a big tree. I love this big tree. Oh my gosh. I. Psh, I would buy out the whole store if I could and just use them all over. 
I tied a little ribbon on our candle, took off the sticker because it's a fall smell. <laughs> now nobody knows, except whoever watches this and me. Um, here you go. I added, oh yeah, I added little lights to the tree and across the mantle. It has little bells, so only if you're really close you can see the bells, but... And the bowl under there, can not see it there, but that's okay. This is what it ended up like. Also, my husband really wanted that cowboy's um, stocking. <laughs> I shouldn't have pulled it out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I hung it there, and I added some ornaments up there. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I'm not a big fan, besides the Snoopy one where it looks like he's playing with a ball. I think that's adorable. And here's the tree. It's nothing fancy. Got some blue ornaments, some silver, some white lights. I... I like simple trees. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.